thanks for hanging back out with us again today we got a color recipe for you to show you share with you today and we're using all dead on plastic colors and uh we're going to be putting it in the angling ai four inch tracer molds and as you can see by the thumbnail it's a perch pattern uh so um you've seen us hand pour perch but this is an injection version and uh it looks pretty great in a lot of different baits but we're going to throw it in the tracer today so we'll put the color recipe on the uh screen so you guys can follow along and uh let's get going plastic we didn't put no flake in it yet now just as important as having the same temps in between them we got to make sure we have the same consistencies so one color doesn't override the other color much so we're going to take a little swatch out of each side and play with them and you can see they still each color still stays separate so i think that it should be good to go. So now we're going to throw our flake in. For the bottom side, we got our 0.025 night flake, which is just a black flake. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit in there like, like pepper. Just dust it in there on the bottom side. And then what really kicks off that perch pattern is fire flake at 0.040. From dead on, we're going to throw that into the bottom. A nice scoop, maybe even two of that. We're just using smidgen sized scoops, which are only 132nd, so we're not putting much in. All right, let's give that a mix real quick. Look at that. That fire flake really adds a lot to this perch batter. Killer addition. All right. All right. So that's the bottom. Or yeah, the bottom. So now on the top, we're going to put one of our favorites, 0 0.040 Meteor Flake. We're going to splash a good scoop of that into it. Two of those. And then... The AG79 flake, if you don't know, that's the chemical element for silver. So it's just silver. There's a glare on there. But anyway, it's silver flake. 0.025. Just a little dusting of that. And then, the only thing we have that we're using today that's not dead on is the large flake. The 0.062 flake. Uh, that you can get that from lure works right now dead on doesn't have that that size their largest is 0 0.040 so we're going to throw a couple good scoops of that in since it's bigger flake all righty let's give this a mix see there See, it looks dark on the cup, but when you pull it up on the knife, see, it's not really that dark. It's still semi-transparent. And when they play with each other, that's when all the cool stuff happens after the whammy. So we're going to make sure we get that good mix. And that's essentially your recipe. The recipe we use, anyway. So we're going to get these in the vacuum chamber and get ready to uh, 
get all the bubbles out of them, and then we'll uh, be right back and ready to pour. We have our top color and our bottom color. Now I'm shooting these about 320. They don't have to be very warm at all. In this in this mold, you don't have to hold a lot of pressure. Just make sure you uh, push evenly, and then top off your sprues. So here we go. What nice slow draw in. Purge off a little extra, and then nice even push down until it stops. Top it off. Go to the next one, even till it stops, then top it off. And that's it. Push off your extra. Now, since you didn't hold a lot of pressure, you got to keep an eye and see it's going down. Just top it off a little bit with your cup to make sure we don't get bubbles in that top cavity. Got to allow for the uh, plastic to restrict. All right. All right, let's check out our blending block first. That's basically our colors we're going to work with. That top looks dark, don't it? But it's still semi-transparent. Okay. So, there's that. Let's open these up and see how these look. Oh, look at that. Mm. Look at those, huh? Awesome lamination. Killer mold. Laminates all the way, even into that little mold tail. Very, very cool. Let's open this one up too. Oh, yeah. Straighten this out a little bit. No, oh, get back on there. There we go. Very, very cool. Man, this tracer mold is awesome. Make, if you don't have that yet, make sure you grab one. Grab a few of those. They got them in different sizes too. Man, great mold. Very cool. See how the colors play with each other too? That bright yellow doesn't appear as bright when it's played off of the other side. Very cool. Well, we're going to put these together and uh, shoot another round since we got the cup before we uh, take them outside and get you some pictures.
All right, so as always, the lighting in here sucks. So uh, we're going to get these all done. And uh, we're, we're running outside to uh, so you can see them in natural light. That's always the best place to, not like direct sunlight, but just natural lighting is always the best place to uh, display your uh, true colors of your baits. So we're going to run outside and you guys can check them out. All right, here we are outside. Pretty cloudy out today, but you can get the idea. Very cool. See that fire flake really sets it off. Very cool. So there you have it, uh, our perch. That's our color of a perch pattern and the tracers. And uh, super simple recipe and uh, it slays here in Michigan. It's a killer color. Works great in the riprap and uh, the pintail mold. Uh, a lot of different molds. It's a great color combination. And uh, yeah, so uh, hope you dug it and uh, feel free to copy that recipe and alter it if you want. But uh, yeah, we're glad you uh, decided to hang out with us today. And till next time, hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure you like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.